You know what one of my favorite days is? The day I get my Archer and Olive quarterly subscription box. It is September and we have the September subscription box. It is an expensive subscription box, but I am never disappointed when I get one. And I am so excited for this one. As soon as I saw it announced, I knew it was going to be good. And when I opened this up, guys, I got tingles. This is the Academia Dark and Decadent set from Archer and Olive. There is quite a lot of goodies in here it's actually a smaller box than normal if i remember correctly like it's a thinner box but oh my gosh was i super excited and come to find out what i had been searching for on amazon not 20 minutes before was in this box not the same exact one of course but i know i've been talking about getting something for months now and when I opened this box, I had a little squee moment and uh, I've, I've muted this so you can't you can't actually hear it when I see it. But I will definitely point it out because I am so excited. So here's the info card. What's inside the box? Um, I am not going to I didn't look at it very quick, very deeply because I wanted to be surprised. I always want to be surprised when I go through here. So. We got quite a bit of goodies. Um, there are a couple of journals and there's even more stuff to clutter up my desk. If you couldn't tell <laughs> by what's on it now, I definitely need to clean it. And I think I say that every time I do an unboxing. So uh, let's just get into it. I'm pulling everything out of the box because I don't like how the box kind of blocks off this new camera. So just give it a second, guys. We'll, we'll get into it. There's a lot of stuff in here and I do go through it pretty quickly. Of course, we've got a journal. I'm going to save that for last because I have high hopes for that one. I really do. Um, and I'll explain why in, once we get to it. So we're going to go through the little things first. Uh, we've got some pens. We've got some journals. And then we've got some accessories. There is a lot here. There are seven boxes in total, and I'm opening up the first one. First one, guys, it's letter opener. How long have I been saying that I needed a letter opener? And Archer and Olive, they must have been watching my videos, and they have provided. It is a giant key. I love it already. The top comes off, and just, oh. It's, I'm going to use it a couple of times in this video. Um, it's not a sharp edge letter opener. Um, and I, I know why they did that, but I, I really wish it did have a sharp edge because I use my letter openers um, or things I use as a letter opener mainly to get through these boxes. So we got a letter opener and then this they call metal tabs. They look like bookmarks to me, but they have little emblems on them. Um, there, there's like a, a rook and pulling it out again. Um, candle, there's a key. It's all in theme with what's in this box. I'm really excited to use them. I do love a good bookmark. Um, next, they call this the um, collage paper book. And, um, I, I know I'm going to use the heck out of this. Everything is very me. It's all very dark. It's very, um, eclectic. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so they're like scrapbook pages. Uh, there are some dot pages in here too, colored dot pages, definitely going to use them. That's what I use a lot of the notepads that they send me for is uh, those dot pages. I'll add those into my my journal, my planner. Um, but the they're gorgeous. The photographs are just absolutely stunning. I love it. I, I know I'm going to use these in my planner in the upcoming <laughs> in the upcoming uh, setup. So that was a pleasant surprise. Hadn't seen something like that before. Now we've got a sticker set. 
Uh, anytime you guys get a sticker set from Archer and Olive, it's usually two sheets and they're double of of each other. So this one is very, very nice. Again, it goes along with the dark academia kind of uh, feel. It does have a little bit of gold um, accents on it. They're very charming. Probably going to hoard them like I do everything else. And of course, we got washi tape. Y'all haven't seen my bin of washi tape, but I am excited to add these to it. We've got one that is a floral with like um, roses and really, really nice like uh, um, posies, I think they are. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a flower person, I'm sorry to say. We've also got some books. We've got a pattern uh, set and then we also have a a uh, roll that's got um the chest set on it and in gold so the background's green and then the chest pieces are in gold they're very lovely i love them i can't wait to use them maybe not in my current journal because that's got a theme that i'm trying to stick with um usually we get some acrylographs or calligraphs or something like that this time they sent gel pins I haven't seen them offer gel pins before in the regular shop, so I don't know if these are a one-off in the subscription box. Um, they didn't come with name plates like the, like the acrylographs or the um, calligraphs do, uh, but honestly, I don't think it needs them. They're, the pen bodies are phenomenal. You can see right through them. I don't know how they write yet. I'm really excited to try. Um, this was a pleasant surprise. I did not expect to see gel pins. So I'll let you know how they write. They are um, a broader tip than I, I like using. But, you know, a girl can never have too many lovely writing pens. It comes down to how they write, that's for sure. Um, all right, now we're into the gritty part of it, the journals. This is volume two of the Extra Large Pocket Library. We got a set of these, I want to say it was, was it March? I think it was March. Um, they sent us part of the, oh, I can't remember what set it was now. Um, but they were little notebooks and I remember being slightly disappointed that one of them was lined and one of them was dotted. Uh, but egg on my face, I started using that line journal not too long after getting it. So uh, here are the new XL pocket library. That's volume two. And then this is the original set. Uh, like I said, I use the use the line one quite a bit. Um, but these were the first two that they sent us and they're just so stinking cute. I love them. They are white paper inside, but these new ones, they are dot as well. This one is craft paper, y'all. I do love a good craft paper. My commonplace journal is craft paper. Um, actually I think it's watercolor paper, but it, it looks like craft paper. And then this one is also dotted, but it's gray. It's just so stinking cute and charming. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. They might just sit on my bookshelf, which I'm putting them on my bookshelf like right now. Um, they just, they're adorable and I love them and I hope they come out with more. I'd love to collect all of them. I probably will stick with the A&O uh, subscription box because... I just, I, I love seeing things that uh, I don't normally see in the shop. This journal, though. Okay, Dark Academia, it's decadent. I have high hopes for this journal. Um, you guys know I love their black paper, and I hope, I hope this one is black paper. Um, I, I actually sent in a request to A&O to bring back the black paper. Um, because we got that dark blue lovely set back in December um, in that journal that uh, the lovely bestie got to, uh, to 
get to she picked it she picked it i offered it to her and she picked it and she's turned it into her reading journal and i know she loves it and i i just i want it again i want dark paper back i love the dark paper um so i'm, I'm just crossing my fingers here this is a lovely cover it is printed on a uh, faux leather um i don't know why everybody calls it vegan leather it's it's not it's it's definitely a a plastic product um it's not leather at all it's it's definitely faux but it's not black pages it's still beautiful i love the gilded edges um the paper is really really thick i don't know what i'm going to use this journal for it's absolutely stunning though it's just not black paper but that's fine we'll make use of it it'll look lovely on the shelf with all the other ones especially since it's a distressed um gold accent on it it's it's really lovely really really lovely it's even got kind of like a bumpy feel to the um the detailing so it, it looks like an old old style um binding uh and it's even got kind of that uh that leather texture to it so it's gonna look stunning on the desk with the rest of the journals uh anyway and i i don't know what i'm gonna use it for yet that might become my next planner journal don't know yet so that was a and o um We've got, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items out of that. Eight if we break up the mini library, the pocket library. Um, again, just so much good stuff in that box. Now we've got the reveal book box. So this is what I'm talking about. There's no edge on this, this uh, letter opener. So it's, it is not going through this packing tape very well, but... I will say that it, it it was able to pull it up enough that I could just grab it with my fingers and and rip it off. <laughs> um, so thank you, a and for listening or watching my videos. So excited that you did. Um, I definitely going to need another lid or opener just to get through tape or maybe just a box cutter. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. So should I just break down and get a box cutter to get through tape? I'm not sure. So the reveal book box, I have now three book boxes coming, not counting A and O. This is the one that um, I'm actually, I'm, all, I'm really excited to get every month because uh, usually there's books in it that I haven't even heard of before. So that's always a pleasant surprise when I open it up. Um, and we get some extra stuff in it this month. So we got a bag, very wide bag. I'm loving that. But there was also a giveaway ticket in here. So that's what I'm reading now. They said to share my unboxing on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. And I haven't ever shared them on TikTok. I don't have a TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, but I definitely think I'm going to today. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to do it. I do love a good giveaway. Uh, speaking of, if you are subscribed to our channel and you watch our discussions, be on the lookout because this September's discussion will have our first giveaway information in it. And we're going to be going all the way. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not going to say anymore. I'm not going to say anymore. Listen to our podcast, watch our channel for our discussion. You'll get all the details for the giveaway during uh, the book of the month, September read. That is released always on the 24th without fail. I know I'm really late with the unboxing, but A&O only arrived today and uh, I only got revealed yesterday. So I am getting this out as soon as I can. We got two books. We got a Love Me Like You Do by D.L. Gali. And then we have After Him by Kelly Finley. I'm excited to read both of these. 
watch out on Instagram for my review. I do think I'm going to read these ones pretty quickly. I'm finishing up a book right now. And then I'll get started on these ones. If you are subscribed to us on Instagram, uh, I want to say thank you so much for your condolences. I, I really do appreciate it. It really helped this, uh, these last couple of weeks. Um, and if you're not, check us out on Instagram. Look us up on Discord. We want you guys to join in our discussion and send us questions. And, of course, you'll always get a heads up about what the next book is for the next month. Thank you guys for joining us in this unboxing. I hope you have a great evening.